All right, welcome back. Football Manager update again. It's actually been a few days since I've actually recorded one, uh, mainly because I've had problems with the laptop. The laptop I was using to uh, record the footage and play the game basically wouldn't turn on. So I had to recover everything I can, uh, move it across onto another laptop. This is the new laptop. It's not really new, it's my old, it's my old one rather than Hayley's old one. Similar performance levels, I think, my, but mine just has problems with um, jumping in and out of the internet and things like this. But anyway, who cares? We're back on. Hopefully there's not going to be any issues. I've actually not had time to test the game. Uh, it seems to be running okay, but there we go. But yeah, so... Um, the huge game. Champions League, Hertha Berlin at home. Um, obviously, basically, I've not, I've not played any games since I left you. Uh, the last game that you would have seen would have been the 3-2 uh, win away at Arsenal, which was a brilliant result. We know Hertha Berlin again, but with, after Hertha Berlin, we've got a home game against Liverpool, which is the biggest game of the season so far and possibly of our history. We could um, move closer to the title with a win against Liverpool. Just to show you the updated league, if you um, had forgotten since the last episode, we are third. Um, we are four points behind Arsenal, or Liverpool, who are top with um, three games in hand. And we are two points behind Man United, who are second, who are, and we're two games in hand in them. So it is in our hands. The title is in our hands, and we've still got to play Liverpool and Man United, both at home. We can win the title this year. It is on. It is on. Uh, yeah, we're against Hertha Berlin. They're in there. I've got a nice little away kit there, red and black. like it. We beat them 2-0 away, so we're in a fantastically strong position. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to play Frith at right back. Uh, 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 uh. Let's move these guys over. Okay, um, conditioning wise, oh, Caitlin's only 80%. Oh, he's gonna struggle. Okay, I see why he wants me to play. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I am going to play. Yeah, play Frith at right back then and play uh, Ward at centre back. I prefer Ward to any goo though at centre back just because Ward is an actual right back. He can play a full back, he can play defend, that's fine. Casavo, Enrique, and Pavlenko in the middle there, that's fine. Suleman, Rankin, Diogo. Yeah, they're all good. Conditioning is a little bit on the low side, but we'll have to deal with that. <clears throat> cool, we'll go with that. We'll go with that team. Is it low? I suppose he's playing player out of position. Don't know why he's so low there. Think about that. Cool. Gonna play the Tiki Taka for us uh, tactic today because we're home. Um, basically, every home game, I think we're good enough that we can play the Tiki Taka uh, tactic and win, I think. Just about performance on the day, innit? How it works out. Okay. Uh, uh, anything else? Sure. I've got nothing to say. Just have a good match out there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's not overcomplicate things. We're tuning up. We're cruising. We're in a good position. We're staring a Champions League semi final in the face. We will play the winner of Inter Barcelona. Um, Inter, they drew 1 1 in the last leg. Inter are leading on way goals in that one, so we'll keep an eye on that one. We obviously lost Inter in the Champions League. Oh, Barcelona scored two quick goals. Troy Parrott with both of them. So now they're in the driving seat. Inter needs to score three goals. Gone. Get involved, get stuck in. Op de Beek. I like that name. Oh, I've gone on the back here. Buhal. Oh, it scored. Miguel Munoz. It's 1 0 here to Berlin. It's 2 1 to us on aggregate, but. Well, okay. Oh, they've got another opportunity. Oh, 
to beat down the left, down the left, our left again and tell away. Diogo, what have you got, mate? Long ball forward. Bruninho's forward. Come on, Bruninho. No, oh, dear. Terrible ball. Don't know why he did it. Let's head it back. There you go. Volters with the ball. Give it out. Give it out, Wade. Give it out, Wade. Ah. There you go. Lovely stuff. Sermon. Ah, oh, poor. Poor effort for Sermon there. Just notice on the recording, it looks a bit jittery, so I do apologise about that. I'll try and see if I can find a way around that. Clear away. Dangerous. We're living a dangerous life here. Into a pool run back against Barcelona. They need to score another two. Over there, so what have you got? Here we go. Come on, play some football, lads. Ward. Oh, that's well played, Lima. Well played to win that back. Pavanko flips that over to Suleiman. He plays out wide. Diogo. Come on, Diogo. You still got it, Mace. Nicely done. Go on, mate. Get across. Do you go? Oh, right, the keeper. <sighs> oh, it's a free kick to her to Berlin. Oh, saved by Voltus. This is close, mate. This is really dangerous. I'm not happy with this. Don't concede a second. Out of the way. That's gone wide. That's gone wide. No worries. Okay. Yeah, we're not playing well. Not playing well at all. Inter have equalised. Uh, it means it's 3 3 aggregate. It means they still need another goal, but they've got themselves back into it. All right, it's not a good performance. Not a good performance at all. Um, I just got to think about what to do. Do I. We switch it up or just hope this works. It's not working at the moment. Oh, we got an injury. We've got an injury. Rankin's got an injured. Okay. Who is the options? Hussey, Kuasi, and War. I'm going to go with War, and I'll tell you why, because I think War, I can play as a second striker. He, he doesn't mind playing as a second striker, which means that he'll mop up and tidy up behind Bruninho. Hopefully we can get a bit more attacking going, but at the moment, we're really struggling. Let's see if goal kick to her to Berlin. If there's another goal, then I'm going to have to really change it up, but... As it stands, we're still going through, but it's close. Go on, Diogo. Come on, Diogo. Get in there. Oh, hit the post. Ah, oh, I should have put that on target. Right, okay. I'm going to pause this. Oh, my word. Yeah, pause it. And I'm going to go to the counter attack. Formation. I know it's going to invite pressure on, but I just need to see this game out. I put Joe War on that right hand side, and I put Angulo on as defensive midfielder, and I'm going to put Kwasi on for Bruninho. Why is okay? I'm going to put Kwasi on for Bruninho because Kwasi can. It's just got legs to run, and I think if he presses, if he presses from the front, that might give us a gives a bit more time. Joe War as a winger. Uh, yeah, make sure they're all happy with their roles. Do you playmaker now? Yeah, that's fine. And he's a central midfielder. Okay. Let's see us out then. Did I confirm that? I didn't, did I? Oh, damn, I didn't confirm it. Stop, 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 stop. Confirm changes. How daft. There you go. All right, we're back. 
couple of changes, hoping to see the game out. It's 1-0 Hertz Berlin. We are living life on the edge at the moment. It's a free kick to us. I don't want any highlights really. I can now take a 1-0 loss at this stage. Go through 2-1. That's a lovely ball though. Kwasi, go on that. Get in there. Habib Kwasi. Wonderful finish. Get in. Lovely ball. Great finish from Kwasi. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 3-1 on aggregate. Oh, I'm delighted with the changes there then. I'm delighted with that. Lovely ball. Lovely finish. And as it stands at the moment, well, Hertha Berlin need to score two. That's a lovely ball forward. Kwasi again. Go on, Kwasi. Finish it off, lad. He's been tackled at the last second. Oh, that's a nightmare. Yeah, Hertha Berlin needs to score two. If they do score two, we're out on the way goals. But um, at the moment, we're looking very comfortable. Yeah, lovely stuff. Overlap. Lima's in the overlap. Diogo's going alone. Doesn't need him. Oh, wonderful goal. Paolo Diogo puts it beyond doubt. Wonderful strike. And look at that. We've won it 2 1. Two late goals. Not that it really matters. We were winning anyway on aggregate, but brilliant stuff. We're through to the semi final of the Champions League. I'm assuming we played Barcelona unless Inter scored. No, they didn't. Which means it will be Barcelona in the Champions League semi final. You've got to keep an eye on that. Troy Parrott, um, he's actually a Spurs player in real life, a uh, young Irish striker, but he's become one of the best strikers in the world in, on the game. Look at this, ridiculous. He's a prolific goal scorer. 330 goals in 447, 474 league games, yeah. He's a very good player in this game. Uh, he's 33 now, getting on, but he's still quite... There you go. Barcelona in the Champions League semi-final. A brilliant turnaround. Buzzing with that. Yeah, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Buzzing... Happy Kouassi getting on the score sheet as well. Always happy to see young lads get on there. Brilliant stuff. Now, that was tricky. We have got a huge game at home to Liverpool. Uh-oh. Okay, Liverpool at home. Uh, massive. I'm just going to show you the updated fixture list because obviously a few games have been changed around because now we've got Barcelona. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got Liverpool next. Then we've got um, Birmingham. Bournemouth and West Ham. And then we've got Barcelona, Man United, Spurs all in one week. Barcelona on Tuesday, Man United on Thursday, Tottenham on Saturday. That is a bloody nightmare. Three games in five days. Um, that's the make or break time. Those three games there. Uh, and then we've got Barcelona again. So in the space of Eight, nine days, nine days. There's eight, there's eight days, isn't it? Eight days, four games, and they are Barcelona, Man United, Spurs, and then Barcelona again. <laughs> Absolutely crazy fixtures. I mean, just the game doesn't seem to cope very well when you start to do well in competitions and go far. Um, just shifts all the fixtures around really weirdly. Okay, but there we go. So we've got that to look forward to. But at the moment, we focus on the here and now. We're home to Liverpool in what is an absolutely massive game. Um, yeah, we win, we go one point behind them with three games in hand. Got to keep an eye on Man United as well, but that is absolutely huge. This game is huge, man. Okay. Um, Rankin's injured, unfortunately, which is annoying. Um, it's going to have to be a few changes because we've been playing so many games at short, uh, sh uh, within short notice that we're having to kind of change the team around and make sure it's fit enough to play. Uh, how's Ward for today? Can Ward play? Yeah, I'm going to give Ward a game again. He did all right in the last one. going to put Angulo on, I think, instead of Pavlenko, just because... I think and go, just to, just to change the team around, just to keep it fresh. Um, it's going to be a tricky game. What's a stopper? Let's defend. It's going to be so difficult. This is a really tricky game, but um, we're on good form, and I fancy us to do something today. Hans playmaking means he won't shoot. I'm going to play a striker. 
I'm putting Sancho here. Bruninho's struggling. Bruninho's form has not been consistent. Um, there's rumours that he's going to be dropped from Brazil. I mean, he's one of the potentially one of the best players in the world, and he's going to get dropped from Brazil because his form has been so poor. Um, just worrying for him. Polyak is to Diogo. Is that a good idea? I don't think that's a good idea. Diogo's been playing well. I'm going to keep Diogo in the team. Here we go. A little bit, a few changes. And we're going to go with a ticky tacker again because we're home. So I just I think I think that we our form at home is is good enough that we can we can do this. Wow, what a huge game! I'm not sure you can hear that. It's just bloody loads of bikes and cars driving around outside. It's really annoying. Go out here, go out there, and give the fans something to cheer for. I need Bruninho to really start picking up there. He's the man. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> There's no way it scores because we're the um, we're the early early kickoff. So I'm gonna go for the lead table. What a massive game this is! Corner, Sullivan. What have you got, lad? Head of the way. Yeah, just noticing the foot just really really jittery. Come on, Sullivan. Go on, go on. Oh, pretty tame shot on the end. If we're dominating possession at the moment, which is unlike us. Unlike us. I must be more direct. Is that because we're not getting a lot of possession? So we'll try and get the ball forward quicker. He'll change his mind on that one. Looks like we're just starting to ease into the game a bit more, but it's close. Things been booked. Okay, what have we got? Sullivan, put it in there, mate. Or have a go if you want. Oh, what a goal! Clinton Sullivan, 1 0. Come on! Lovely goal. Solo effort, and then smashed it from the edge of the area. Get in. That really mixes things up in the lead table. Look at that. We, we will go up to second. Man United are going to play later on, I think. We'll be one point behind Liverpool with. Three games in hand on them. Massive. Unfortunately, we've got to fit so many games in towards the end of the season just because we've been doing well in the, all of the competitions, really. Oh. Come on, Simon. Nicely done. Good pass. Come on, Lima. Lovely. Diogo, man of the se season so far. Good run, Diogo. Drop it back. Ooh, wait a second. Man. Bruninho was there. Such a strange thing in the game. It's half time. One nil up. Come on. Encourage the players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going well, but I know you keep all better. Come on. It's just that. <sighs> Diogo, I can't seem to get him involved at the moment. I looked at his stats and he's only scored four in his last 12. He's been in, he has had injury problems. I've, I know that's an issue. Oh, I look forward coming forward here. Ah, oh, they'd be close. Michael Bjorn. Not even a minute gone in the first and second half. Terrible start. And it's getting to concentrate. Here we go. We've got a free kick, though. Oh, we did have a free kick, and it's been, nothing's happened. Okay. Pegged back straight away in the second half. Come on. And Guru's making mistakes, apparently. But yeah, there's a few players out there just not clicking. Enrique and Sullivan are having good games, but... Diogo, not really working today. Okay, right, let's make some substitutions then. I'm not going to use Ngulu just yet. He seems to have recovered somewhat. I'm going to put on Polyak up there. Uh, persevere with Brinho. I might take off Maya because Maya's not really getting involved either. Come on. I encourage him. Muk Mukhamitshin is uh, really causing us problems today. Come on. Uh, it draws fine. I mean, we're such a it's such a strong position that a draw is actually okay for us. A draw is very good for us. 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to bring on Kwasi because, again, bringing you is not doing anything at the moment. And I'm going to bring on Joe War. Okay. Come on. Throw into Liverpool. Get rid, get rid. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, it's gone in. How has that gone in? Wow, that changes things. We're two one down. Okay. Oh, my word. What a what what happened there? What a time for a goalkeeper just to stop forget forget how to play football. Ah uh, dear, I've made all my substitutions and I need to go attacking. Um, I'm going to put Joe War as the striker. I'm going to bring Gustavo Enrique as the attacking midfielder, even though he probably can't do that job. But he'd be better than Angulo. Okay. Come on. Oh, what a disaster. What a disaster. Bloody Sande as well, a guy who was tempted to sign. Come on. Where's all these attacks coming from, lads? Don't know like it's going to happen. Oh, one last attack. Come on. In injury time. Foul. No. Joe Ward scores. Get in there. Brilliant header. Joe Ward, you absolute legend. Get in. Can we get a winner? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't let Liverpool score. Go on, attack. Get a ball. Yes, Enrique. No, 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 Enrique, what are you doing? You still got it. Clear. Come on. Kwasi. Kwasi. Go on, Kwasi. It's it. Oh, I saved. We could have won it. Ah, oh, it's a draw. <laughs> wow. It's a draw. A draw's great for us, but we could have won it at the end there. Blimey. What a tense game. What a tense game. It puts us still. No, I'm, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I'm happy with the performance. To come back and get a point out of that, we could have won it as well. Kwasi. Ah, oh, Joe War though. Absolute club legend getting a goal. Equalising in injury time. Um, if we'd have lost that, Liverpool would have been two, uh, two more points, 77. We would have been down 70. So we've been seven points behind with three games behind. We still had a chance. We would have made it so much harder. But we're now we're still four points behind Liverpool. Um, got three games in hand on them. Who are Man United got this weekend? I think on Monday they're not playing. Is it the FA Cup or something? They're playing on Tuesday, the same day as us. I'm trying to think when their game in hand is then. Is it in a week? Oh, we got them again. I don't know. They must have. Uh, well, they got. Well, we got games in hand on them, so maybe we're catching up with them. There you go. Tense game, that. Tense game. Managed to get the equaliser. Joe War, you absolute legend. Brilliant. Yeah, Suleiman was good. Actually had a good game. Brilliant. Okay. Man United won Suleiman. Mm, you're going to have to pay a lot of money. Yeah. 93 million is the rumoured price. Blimey. If they come with 93 million, I'd, I'd struggle to reject that one. Okay. We didn't lose. That's good. Um, you got Bournemouth and West Ham away in the next two games. I'll play through them. And next time I join you, Barcelona. I'm not sure whether to have that bumper week all in one episode. Yeah, and then have the Barcelona game as the next one. I'll think about it. But the next time we will join us, we'll be at home and we will have the mighty Barcelona visiting us on the 1st of May. The season is just ramping up mental. We're in the driving seat for the Premier League title. We're in the Champions League semi-final. This is a mental season for the Beach Boys. Is it going to end with trophies? Come on. Cheers then.